Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Avis. Welcome back to an episode. In today's episode, we're going to play knife ability test with the Technical Revolver. I'm probably going to call this knife ability test Technical Experience. So without further ado, let's start today's episode and let's play this revolver. Alright boys and girls, so there we go, we're going to play some knife ability test now and I think I finally understood how you can actually use the tactical correctly. Since there seems to be some kind of distance limit with the weapon shooting through walls and I'm pretty sure most people know by now that the tactical is probably one of the only weapons with the specialty of shooting through walls and I think that's something really really nice and very useful in some cases but there seems to be a limit on how far it can actually shoot through the walls. So yeah, let's just try to figure this out in today's episode. Um, there's someone up there there and we might be able to get him through the wall I'm not fully sure we didn't get anyone through the wall so far there you go we got the first kill through the wall you saw that person was really really close to us and I think that's kind of the distance you can actually shoot through walls it's it's like very limited actually compared to the AWP which was literally shooting through like multiple walls at once as you see right there it's not going through the walls anymore reliably at least as you see we're not able to kill the people let's see if we can get this guy no it's actually too far away for the weapon right now in some cases it still works but you gotta be extremely lucky with that so in general this weapon is really powerful for 2000 gems i think it's very very nice and very affordable and also quite worth it in my personal opinion i think it's a very powerful weapon you even have a scope right here um it's not really giving you any advantage it's it's more like a disadvantage to be completely honest and most people won't actually use this one but i personally think this weapon is very nice you see there's some kind of limit right there on how far you can shoot for walls and if we now actually go closer um we should be able to actually kill him through the wall again there you go you can see that it actually works so this weapon is very effective on close ranges we're shooting through walls but as soon as you get to the long ranges you definitely want to have the AWP instead since this one is getting a little bit unreliable and you might not be able to actually kill the people um, with every single shot right there but you saw we actually got them so the distance sometimes works and sometimes doesn't um, let's see if we can get them right here probably not we're just gonna hide right here you know I can just there you go we got them through the wall now <laughs> like I said it's sometimes a little bit unreliable but you should be able to get most people through the walls and you get really nice shots with this weapon so hopefully in this video I will be able to showcase you guys some really really cool and epic fights right here i think we're up to a kill streak maybe uh apparently not actually and there was two terrible misses right there you so saw we got another kill through the wall very very nice you can always see that with the wall penetration icon right there so it's very very useful and sadly we've been taken out now no kill streak for us this time so let's see you see, it actually does not work, but if we go a little bit closer, we can actually get him again. So, it seems to be there's like some kind of distance, uh, or maximum distance that you can shoot through walls. Which is, I guess, understandable. I guess they didn't want it to make it too overpowered. Um, so I totally understand that. There was a little bit of lag right there, so we didn't get them immediately. Let's see, can we get another kill through the wall, maybe? Mm, this one might be a little bit more challenging, since I think there's actually two walls right there. So, let's just try to get a little bit closer, maybe, and hopefully we can get another kill with our epic tactical right here. Which is a very nice revolver at least in my personal opinion so there we go we got another kill right there that was pretty nice there's one person behind us we also got them oh there's that person down there and apparently we're too far away already but we got them through the walls you see on the kill feed right there very very nice I guess once again I should probably mention in the hands of a capable player this might be a very very powerful tool um, same thing that I said for the shotgun revolver but I'm pretty sure even like an inexperienced player might have some fun with this weapon since it's just really really fun overall and I guess the only real disadvantage seems to be that it doesn't go through many walls and on longer ranges since there seems to be some kind of limit right there with the capabilities of this weapon even though now we did get a kill through the wall which is I still think kind of surprising Maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe there's no limit for the distance. It would be kind of weird, but you saw it's sometimes just not working at all. Maybe it's just unreliable. Maybe there's some other factor that I don't know. If you know more about this weapon, because I'm very inexperienced right now in knife ability test, even though I'm level 407, it doesn't really have to say anything. I haven't played this game in a very long time. Back when I had this weapon, I think that's a very long time ago since I bought it, um, you were actually able to shoot through some walls. In the early days, I think it wasn't even able to do that at all. But later on, they added that, and I think you had to scope and actually and be in first person to shoot through the wall and it was actually working through like multiple walls sometimes and even like very very thick walls so i'm not sure if they change that nowadays or if there's some other factor that i don't know about feel free to share that in the comments down below i would really really appreciate that so let's let's do some further testing of course um so you see right here it does not shoot through the walls even if we go in first person and do get the particle effect doesn't really work and i'm not sure if it's because of the distance because of the thickness of the wall or if there's something else we did kill him through the wall because there was a chair in the way. 
Um, I mean, the chair wasn't too thick. We killed this guy through the wall and it was literally the same thickness as the previous one. I'm, I'm not sure how it's preventing you from shooting through the wall. Maybe I was too close to the wall. Maybe there's like some kind of detection for that. But then it also still sometimes doesn't work. So we killed this guy through the wall. We killed this guy through the wall. Maybe you have to be like a specific distance from the wall. That could be the case, maybe. So we got this guy. Nice. I think that might actually be the case. I think we solved it now. But no, it didn't work earlier either. Okay, we gotta, we gotta do some more testing in a few seconds, boys and girls. I'll figure this out. I'll figure this out. Okay, so there we go. So my theory right now is that if you're too close to the walls, it doesn't really work. But it didn't work right there either. Very interesting. We killed this guy through the wall. You see, this weapon is really powerful. If you if you do get lucky sometimes, you can get some really, really nice wall kills, um, which is very, very nice overall. Uh, the good thing for, for uh, people that are camping, we can just use the hyper beam really quickly to get them out of their camping spots. All right, let's get them real quickly. There you go. And now let's see if we can make this work, actually. Okay, so I had to join a new server. I accidentally used a different weapon. Totally not on purpose. Totally not on purpose. Okay, so we're going to switch back now. Uh, to our original revolver right here. Just go all the way back. There you go. Tactical. There's quite a few people in the server. That's very, very nice. And we're gonna go for castle, of course. So cool. Maybe they're gonna vote this as well. What would be very, very nice. I hope I can solve this riddle very soon. If we still don't know how this weapon works by the end of the video, that would be very sad. Ah, uh, there you go. Two people voted for this. Nope, never mind. Now two people voted for that. Hey, two people voted finally. Nice. Oh, cool. They, they're not voting for the same thing. I really hope they're not going to vote for the same thing. That would be hilarious. Okay, so let's see. Is it castle? Please, castle. <laughs> uh, it's castle. Nice. The server appears to be a little bit laggy. Um, There you go. Okay, so let's figure out how you use the tactical. You see, it shoots for walls occasionally. I missed this time. And I was reloading. <laughs> I wasn't too good, boys and girls. So apparently, if you, if you go too close to the walls, you cannot shoot through the walls. And if you're too far away, it doesn't work either, which is very interesting. So our main goal is going to be how to actually effectively use this. So we couldn't kill this guy for the wall, which is very interesting. We got one of them. We got number two. All right, let's see. Let me guess. There's someone behind the wall. We didn't get them. That's very unfortunate. We got one of them. Okay, it might be someone spawning down there now. Apparently not. Can I not shoot through the table anymore? Okay, apparently I'm not allowed to shoot through the table. You saw that. It didn't want it to let me. <laughs> All right, so how do you use this weapon now? All right, do you guys think we can make this? One of them is right there. There you go. Let's reload very quickly. There we go. I, I don't understand this. I, I'm just going to assume it's very inconsistent at what it's doing. All right, boys and girls. So now we're going to talk about the conclusion of this video. The tactical is a very powerful weapon, of course. How does it work now is the question. It seems to just be very inconsistent. Like, I cannot really figure out if it just doesn't want to work sometimes or if it's just because I'm incompetent and I'm not fully sure how you use it but I, I'm just gonna say it's pretty inconsistent at sometimes when you just get this kind of error sound and you're not able to shoot through the wall but most of the times you can get some really cool shots through the walls and yeah it's a, it's a pretty powerful weapon I think it's very fun to use and is it worth the 2000 gems I think it's worth the 2000 gems you should probably save up for it. It's very, very powerful. It can be quite fun. But as you see in the background, sometimes it just doesn't want to shoot through the walls. But you can still just kill them normally, which is no problem at all. It's not as powerful as the AWP was. Um, we're going to include a little clip at the end right here really quickly. Where you can see how powerful the AWP really is compared now to the tactical. You saw the tactical wasn't able to shoot the person through the wall. But as soon as we just go with the AWP, everything just looks a little bit different. Because... Well, all of a sudden, you can just shoot people through all walls. It doesn't even matter anymore where they are, because you can just get them. Which is a very interesting thing, as you see now in the background. Um, you can just sit behind the wall, and the AWP just does it anyways for you. There's no problem with that. And yeah, I guess the only difference is that, of course, the tactical you can buy in the shop for 2,000 gems. Well, the AWP, I've actually been told it's worth around like 120,000 gems, something like that. Um, so I guess this one is a little bit more expensive than the tactical and well, that's of course a little bit more than this. And I think, like I said, the tactical is definitely worth its price and it's really fun to use. I had a lot of fun using it and you don't get any gems when you use the AWP, keep that in mind of course. But actually when you use the tactical, you seem to get I think one gem if I'm not completely wrong. Uh, we're going to see that in the background again. As you can see, you're going to get like one gem per kill, which is pretty okay, I think. And it's still better than, well, uh, the AWP, which gets zero gems, of course. 
Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. You can actually make some gems with that, which is very, very nice. It's fun to use. It's a pretty cool weapon. You can scope with it, which is, I guess, unique to this weapon. And it can shoot through walls, which I'm pretty sure is also unique to it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was very entertaining for you. I hope you had a little bit of fun. You had as much fun as I had when I was playing with this weapon. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.